Welcome to another update. And in this one, uh, we look at the Arabian Sea system. Here's the latest from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Tropical Cyclone 05A Luban is located 12 decimal 5 degrees north, 61 decimal 2 degrees east. It's moved uh, 290 degrees, so 5 knots. Located by satellite, maximum sustained winds 50 knots, gusting 65 knots. And in the image is uh, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center and it's located around 492 nautical miles east southeast of Salalah, Oman, tracking west northwest at 5 knots over the last 6 hours. Apology for the pronunciation. Now we have a look at the life of the uh, system up to a few hours ago. Satellite imagery shows rain bands wrapping from the north and south into persistent deep convection that is obscuring the low-level circulation centre. Uh, 89 gigahertz microwave image clearly depicts a warm brightness temperature notch feature in the northern portion of the deep uh, convection. The initial intensity of 50 knots is supported by PGTW and KNES for their current intensity estimates of T3, T3.5. Now here's the uh, track from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. The environment is marginally favourable with 15 to 20 knots of vertical wind shear, good radial outflow, warm 28, 29 Celsius, sea surface temperature being offset somewhat by dry air in training from the south. Tropical cyclone zero 05 is being steered by an east-west oriented subtropical ridge to the north. Now we have a look at the NOAA floaters. Although a mid-latitude trough has weakened the steering, Tropical Cyclone CO5 is forecast to continue the track west northwest over the next 48 hours, shifting to a westward direction as the steering ridge builds to the north. There is bifurcation in the models with the split being evident early in the forecast but becoming more pronounced after 48 hours. The centre's track forecast favours the solution presented by ECMW, the COAMPS GFS, ECMWF Ensemble Mean which maintains the steering which to the northwest and steer the cyclone onto a westerly track after 48 hours. And by 72 hours, the uh, environmental conditions will start to become unfavorable and the cyclone should slowly weaken to 55 knots by the 120 hour mark. However, confidence in the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre's forecast track is low due to the bifurcation in the model guidance. Rave height is 14 feet. Upper level divergence is around 10 to 20 knots. We look at the wind shear, the red is unfavourable, green is favourable, yellow neutral.
Now we have a look at the 24 hour shear tendency, tropical systems, love the area in the blue and slightly the yellow. And the intensity scale is the right hand side of the screen. And one of my favourites, the 850 millibar vorticity. And you can see the other area of interest to the east of the system. Now we have a look at some uh, tracks. Intensity guide. And the tropical cyclone is 12 decimal 9 degrees north, 60 decimal 6 degrees east. It's 50 knots and minimum central pressure is 990. And there's one model indicating a possible Cat 3 borderline 4 cyclone. And thanks to Levi. Cowan, owner operator of the Tropical Titbits website. Uh, here's some tracks, GEFS, and this includes pressure. So we're going to see a uh, a turn to the west, but then it'll probably curve to the northeast. When viewing non official weather sources, caution needs to be applied when it comes to models uh, that they are won numerous times in a 24 hour period and the picture does change. EPS track guidance. They cycle track guidance and a look at various models uh, starting off the HWRF. This is one of two. And the scale again, right hand side of the screen, and that is intensity. Force 13 will continue to bring the latest information on this system. And we have a major threat now on the radar from Hurricane Michael. Now, this is a pivotal weather website, it's a GFS precipitation. The scale is at the bottom of the screen. And what I look for when viewing uh, this imagery is the area in yellow to dark brown. You can clearly see where the cyclone is located. Quite a bit of dark brown. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page. You're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also add force 13 on Skype and force 13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.